Hello everyone and welcome. I'm the Angry Chef and today I'm here to talk. Um, I have been out of content creation for almost two years now and um, I do plan on returning to YouTube and I just wanted to address a few things today before uh, I started creating new content. Um, first and foremost, my channel up to this point has been a mixture of ASMR and gaming, I guess, more gaming than ASMR up until now, but um, I want to kind of reinvent the channel as primarily a ASMR uh, experience. Um, most of the videos I do from here on out, unless uh, one of you guys would like to see it, are going to be ASMR mainly. The second thing I want to discuss today is I know lately YouTube has changed their ad policies. Um, that being said, I know a lot of ASM artists are being affected by the changes to the monetization and to how the um, ad-friendly videos are working now. I just wanted to put it out there. I have not monetized any of my videos up to this point. I kind of feel like it's you know, counterproductive to monetize for an ASMR channel, especially one as small as mine. And I am not going to be monetizing any of my videos into the foreseeable future. So the YouTube, new YouTube policies aren't going to particularly affect me, where I still have a day job and I mainly do this for fun and for the relaxation of others. Um, the third thing I wanted to discuss with you guys today, I have my old microphone, my Blue Snowball. It has been very good to me so far, but I felt like if I was going to seriously uh, do more ASMR that I wanted to do an upgrade. So I went and purchased a brand new mic and I wanted to unbox it in front of you guys on camera today. So I'm going to move my mic back. And I'm going to slide this box in. Now, I got this all as a kit on Amazon. It was about 220 US. Uh, this is a kit. Please don't remove any contents from the box. I tore off uh, something that was related to my personal information because that, that I don't want to share. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have a Transcend 16 gig card. It's an SD card. It'll really come in handy for us. We got a six foot USB 2.0 cable, uh, A mail to B mail, and that's going to charge it for us and give us our power. We have a custom wind buster for the H4N, and I think it's kind of neat because it's really furry. Can't wait to, to try it out. We got an AS, AS, an AC adapter for our device here so we can plug it in and get power from the wall which is good because I know it runs batteries. Let's get rid of this box and we have the H4N Pro from Zoom. Now I purchased this microphone for a few reasons. Uh, number one is that it records dual channel audio and I wanted to kind of try to get a more binaural feel to my videos, a kind of left right recording feel. Um, because I enjoyed that in ASMR pretty much more than anything. Um, I couldn't quite afford a 3DO, but again, I'm so small that it would it would be pointless for me to have such a high dollar device. Um, another reason I picked this is that it allows for upgrading with XLR cables to new stronger microphones. And with the 3DO being the example, I can theoretically upgrade straight to a 3DO mic if the time came to get a little bit more advanced equipment. Um, the other thing is is that it's portable. Some of the videos I wanted to do before I was not able because I don't own a decent laptop. I don't like using laptops so most of my recording has been done at my desktop up to this point and this will allow me to do recordings outside, to do some other interesting food videos I think at least some of you might enjoy. So we're going to open it up. It did come with a copy of Cubase and a copy of Wave Labs for free. Um, I have given those away because I, I do not personally use them. 
but we're just going to unbox it. And right on top, we have our H4N Pro in a nice plastic case. This is the first time I've taken this out, so I haven't even seen it myself up until this point. And it's very nice. We have our mounting points in the back where we can mount it to arms or uh, tripods. It has both of our speakers, of course, and I believe if you turn them, you can change the pickup, which is also nice. We have our XLR inputs, and it has a nice kind of rubberized grip on it. It feels really quality. Um, I don't know how to use it yet, so the next couple of days learning to use this microphone is, is going to be interesting, to say the least. Okay. Put that away. They gave us some Maxil Alkaline AA batteries. I guess that's for using it on the go. And we have a lot of cardboard. We'll set that aside. Have our warranty, our operation manual. It, it's more like an operation book. And what actually came with our product. There's no codes in here. They've already been gotten rid of, so don't worry about that. And I don't have any to give away, so maybe in the future I'll have some software or something I can do giveaways for. But I just want to take the time today to let you guys know that I am still here. Um, I have created a Vidme account. Uh, unfortunately, right now, I'm limited to 15-minute videos because I'm not verified. So I am not able to transfer any of my YouTube content there as of now. But I'm looking to do cross-platform uh, posting. So I'll look into the future to actually keeping my videos maybe a little shorter or maybe breaking them into parts uh, so that I can accommodate vid me until I'm verified. Um, that's, I believe, is pretty much it for today. Um, I did want to say one other thing. Um, one reason in particular that I decided to start up again now is I had planned already to get back up and do more videos, but I just wasn't feeling it. it I recorded so much so quickly that YouTube started to feel like a job when I already had a job so it was kind of like working twice as hard for the same amount of reward seeing as how I'm not monetizing well I just for a while didn't feel mentally up to recording and I just didn't feel I could give you the content you deserved in my current mind state, mind state. Um, life isn't what we want always and I hit a rut and Unfortunately, I was not able to produce any content for some time. Um, I do plan on trying to put out at least a few videos a week. And at the request of one of my YouTube uh, viewers, the first video I'm going to be posting is going to be Chapter 3 of The Great Gatsby. And I'm going to continue doing it whispered. Most of my other series, my gaming videos, I probably will not continue unless somebody really would like to see it. And definitely let me know if you want to. Send me a message and I'll get it going again for you. Um, I do care about my subscribers. I want to thank you all again for sticking with me and for enjoying my content so far. Um, without further ado, I guess that's going to wrap up this little return and unboxing video. Um, keep an eye out. I will have more content coming up very soon. Thank you all for your support and you all have a good night.